Hello there. If you want to learn how historical dual wedding was done, you've come to the right place. This week's exercise is very beginner friendly and untypically straightforward for Marozzo. So let's dive right in. We start once again with our left leg forward and swords at our right. Since we have gone through pretty much every defense, it's now time to get on the attacking side of things. Throw a powerful reverso with your left, from your right side to their left sword. This way you will clear both of their swords from the center line and open them up for your following attack. In order to give that reverso some power, you will have to lift up the tip of your sword in the manner of a falso. So be very aware of your distance as this would be a possible tempo for your opponent to attack you. You can make the reverso as a full or as a half cut, but I prefer the latter. While you are throwing the displacing blow, step in with your right foot and deliver a thrust to their flank or a mandrito to their leg with your right sword. It's really important not to delay here, as your created opening will only exist for a short moment. I think the advice punta ferma is especially easy as you don't have to move your right hand and just drive the thrust with your body. For our retreat, we are told to cross our swords while stepping back with our right foot into our original position. Since Marozzo tells us that a half turn of both of our hands is needed to get there, only a hanging position with your right and a point up position with your left hand on your left side makes sense to me. So, after your attack, Beat up the false edge of your right into the left sword and form a strong crossing for your defense. If you'd like to build more training exercises out of this lesson, you could of course form a crossing on your upper right like in the last week. And as always, don't forget to mirror every exercise. If you like this series, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Every week I'll publish my interpretation on the next chapter of Achille Marozzo's Dual Swords. If you have any questions or feedback, I'd be happy to read them in the comments. Until next time, enjoy training!